Welcome back to the Rise and Shine Time. I'm Brother Dominic Garissi. I am. This is Brother Dustin Dilworth here with Dr. Townsend. Dr. Ben Townsend, pastor of the Bible Believers Baptist Church in Music, Michigan. And he's also author of five books. And are you, uh, what are you, partner or president of the ELC? I guess I'm the director of it. Director of it. it. Okay. There you go. Yeah, well, thank you for being with us this morning, Dr. We're, Townsend. <laughs> we have um, a great time. Curious, before we move on, uh, we do we did mention that you have some books available and some materials. Yeah. Uh, could you direct uh, our listeners to a website or someplace where they can uh, go ahead and take a look at that? Uh, DrBenTownsend.com has uh, the, the Law Center books on it. Uh, the Ecclesiastical Law Center books, and one of my uh, novels, and I've written a book uh, about church polity, about uh, one uh, the history of one pastor over a church. Because mm-hmm. there, you know, there are a lot of people going around about the multiplicity of pastors or elders, sure. yeah. and so I wanted to show that that was really not a, a Baptist doctrine mm-hmm. down through the history. Because you know, they're they're trying to per- the they're trying to permeate our types of churches, and saying they don't like our church government. And so they want they want a bunch of people to run it, <clears throat> and, and you know instead of the uh, pastor, pastor uh, underneath the, the Lord Jesus Christ being his under shepherd. So I wrote a book on that, and then uh, a novel, and then I'm on my next uh, on my the follow up to that novel right now. I've written the first five chapters, and those five chapters are on my website, as a matter of fact, so people can read them and give me. Give me hints about which way to go, <laughs> what the favorite characters are, that type of thing. Yeah, yeah. I only want to be a blessing. That's the, the statement of my website, Dr. Ben Townsend. And on that, you can also go to my blog, and uh, there's a link to uh, to my YouTube. Uh, right. And that will provide you, by the way, with minutes and minutes, perhaps hours of entertainment. So that was DrBenTownsend.com? Yes. All right. So Dr. make sure ben to check Townsend. that out for materials, books, and uh, videos. We will also have that linked up on our website on wblwradio.com, along with the recording. Uh, you can you can download this entire episode or the show of the Rise and Shine Time, and uh, we're going to try to get this video ripped down into digital mm-hmm. and put it online as well. Um, and also, there will be some links. There's a lot of folks who are online right now. Our traffic just skyrocketed. Don't know what you've done. But uh, we have, <laughs> we have uh, <laughs> you did it. <laughs> it's all your fault. Uh, but uh, Dr. Ben is a singer-songwriter, and we'd like you to go ahead and, and take it away again. Oh, good. Well, you know, music is a great part of my life, and that's really, you know, you, you hear about burnout from pastors uh, occasionally. And uh, one of the reasons I don't burn out is because I'm having too much fun in all Amen. these other areas. And, uh, you know, I'm a serious pastor, a serious preacher. And uh, yet, you know, I can go to the keyboard and I can sing some of these songs or write some of these songs, and it just uh, it just helps so much. And I was thinking on the way up here, you know, the name of the program is Rise and Shine, and I was thinking, you know, that's something you never see at an evolution conference is some guy getting up in front with a keyboard singing something like, you know, rise and shine and give Darwin glory, glory. You're, just, you're not going to, I mean, how, no would they even, how would they even have any way to... You know, it, it rained and poured for millions and millions of years. These years, these rain. You know, drove oh, those good. animals awfully weirdsy, weirdsy. Because you know, they just they can't do that. They don't know how to pray. Children praise. of the monkeys. Yeah, there you go. Well, they you see, oh. they don't have a song in their heart. Mm. You know, the world's music is just noise. That's it. And 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 we we've got real music here with us. And uh, let me do something. Some, some another song for Liz who called in. And that's, that's a song that's been such a blessing to me, especially going through our accident and all the, the problems thereof. You know, I had my left ear ripped off, and uh, the doctor had to sew it back on. Wow. And uh, and it was really funny because I don't remember this at all because I was, you, you, you know, be a great Christian. Be close to the Lord because you never know when nurses are listening to you and what you're going to say on the operating table. But a nurse went out and told, I guess we had about 50 people from our church out in the waiting room, and she told them this story. And they all told me that I said this. I don't remember it at all. But they said she went out and said, the doctor was sewing your left ear on, and he said, uh, do I need to give you more pain medication? And you and, and the pastor said, huh? And the doctor kneeled down, got down closer, and do I need to give you more pain medication? And your pastor said, Huh? <laughs> And then your pastor said, gotcha, Doc, didn't I? But, <laughs> but like I said, you know, it, in, a, in the midst of a tragic That's situation, great. you know, if you have the Lord Jesus Christ to go through it with, yeah. you still have Amen. a song in your heart. And this, this, is a, this is a song that's meant a whole lot to me. I know you're going through the fire. 
It's getting hard to stand the heat. But even harder is the wondering. Is God's hand still on me? It's lonely in the flames when you're counting days of pain. But the potter knows the clay. Amen. That's good. How much pressure it can take. How many times around the wheel to their submission to his will. He's planned a beautiful design, but it'll take some fire and time it's gonna be okay cause the potter knows the clay friend I just came through that fire not too very long ago and looking back I can see why that my God was in control. But on the hottest days I cried, Oh Lord, isn't it about time? But the potter knows the clay, how much pressure it can take how many times around the wheel till their submission to his will he's planned a beautiful design but it'll take some fire and time it's gonna be okay cause the potter knows the clay. He's planned a beautiful design, but it'll take some fire and time. It's gonna be okay, cause the potter knows the clay. The potter knows the clay. Yes, the potter the clay. Well, that's good. Amen. Thank you for sharing that song with us. Yeah. Beautiful. That's awesome. The Potter Knows the Clay and uh, and Liz, uh, Dr. Ben actually sang that song just for you. Um, I know you requested God's Been Good. But it kind of goes right along with that. Mm-hmm. He, he thought that you might enjoy that as well. And uh, to all our listeners, thank you so much for tuning in this morning.